Hi guys and welcome back to the World of Tanks 9.9 .9 test server with El Nietzsche. Today we're having a look at this little thing here. I'm not quite sure where this is going to fit in when it goes live but currently this is a tier 6 Japanese Tiger. There, sitting next to the Cheeto, it's a Japanese Heavy. That's, yeah, Japanese. Um, at the moment this is the test server, it only costs 100 gold, obviously that is definitely going to change. Um, from what I have seen, this thing blows up very well, but we're going to have a look ourselves. So, quick rundown. Tier 6. Sorry, my dog's growling away there for no reason because it's hot. Tier 6 has got 950 hit points, which if we compare it to other tier 6 heavies... Uh, okay, not counting the Tog, because... Yeah. Tog has lots of health. Tog doesn't count. Uh, I can't find any of my tier 6 heavy now, in a second. Nope, don't have any tier 6 heavies there. Uh, looks like Alright, tier 6 heavies. 870, 860. So, 950 has got more health than things like your KB models, obviously less than the TOG, but that's the TOG. Uh, weighs just under 60 tons, has an engine power of 650, which gives it a not too bad specific weight power. Uh, top speed of 40 kilometers an hour, which I think is comparable to the German Tiger. Yeah, looking at it, it's essentially the same as the German Tiger in most respects. There's the German Tiger. So, 40 kilometers an hour, top speed, 26 degree, tra degree traverse speed, yep. 180-80 on the armor for both turret and hull. It does slightly less damage than the normal Tiger and has a lower penetration, but you are a tier lower, so you can expect that. I mean, it's only got 132 penetration with your standard ammunition because it's using the. It's essentially using that gun there. It's, well, it is using that gun there. It's the uh, Japanese variant of the L56 gun. So, yeah, it's got a rate of fire of 8.5 rounds a minute, turret traverse speed of 20 degrees, and 370 meter view range, 620 meter signal range. Pretty. Pretty average for tier 6, pretty good, this is quite a high tank, but as I said, it, it's a tiger. It is a Japanese tiger, just a tier low, so it's got less health and not as good a gun, but it is, it, it is a tiger. That's what it is. Equipment fit, I've gone for large caliber gun rammer. Tend to, that's usually a good call on any gun that's not an autoloader. Vents again is quite a good choice for any tank, just improves your aiming time, your reload, your turret hull traverse a little bit. And then, because from what I've seen other people mentioned, this thing blows up quite easily, I've put wet ammo rack on there to make the ammo rack a little bit more durable. Crew skills, I've just gone for a stock crew here, but my recommendation would probably be... Let's see... Six cents on the commander first and then probably other repairs or firefighting. Snapshot on the gunner probably and then again repairs. Driver I'd go probably go for either clutch braking or smooth ride and then after that I'd go for off-road driving and repairs and the loader. Loader skills generally suck so yeah you just go for repairs or firefighting on the loader. Once you max them out, maybe shove in one of the loader perks and then just go straight back to repairs or firefighting again. So anyway, that's just the quick rundown of the tank itself. Let's jump into a match and see if we can do anything. Okay, so here we are in Kharkov. It's given us a bit of a small match because there aren't that many people in the sort of tier 5 to 7 range. And unsurprisingly... Pretty much everybody's driving these new heavy tank the number six Tigers. 
So, well, I suppose at least the playing field's going to be pretty level. And the main gun can penetrate the front of these tanks. You start barking again. We all know what they can do. Time to roll out. Let's see maneuverability. Seems reasonably similar to the Tiger. It's got a little bit le less powerful engine, so it's not quite as maneuverable, but it doesn't seem that much different. First targets up there, what have we got? Looks like two of the enemy Tiger variants. Ooh. ELC's just made a bit of a boo boo charging up and running into our heavy tanks as we try and proceed through here and get some damage done. See a little silhouette of our tank. Oh dear. You're not paying attention there. We didn't penetrate their armor. We lost the track. He's firing faster than I am. Which means he's got 100% training crew, which I don't. So just pull back as soon as I can here. Thankfully, that one bounced. Get going. Got a bit of support from artillery there, so that's always good. Come on. We didn't even scratch them. Oh, that actually bounced. I'm surprised there. I've got some support now, so I'm going to let him take a couple of shots for me. There we go. It's, the tanks only seems to perform a bit like a crossbreed between a 3601H with the short 88 gun and the Tiger or with its sort of improved armour over the 3601H. And I've just kind of got myself stuck. What are you doing? What are you... Come on, forwards. Thank you. Oh, oh dear, there's a Tiger there. And of course, I missed completely. This is going to hurt. I am not going to survive this. No. He was angling very well against me. I was not angling very well at all. But he's not going to last very long. KV-2 over there decides to notice him. There we go. Come on, KV-2. Do it for Russia. Never mind. Tiger did it for you. So we've got two of these. Well, I suppose less health. I suppose we could call them mini tigers. After all, we were reviewing the mini mouse, which yes, they've they've taken that out for now as they rebalance it. But as it stands, we've got one of these tigerish tanks left, and a Bert who. Just finished the game off with a nice hit. So yeah, that's a quick look. I don't think I did too badly there. We'll have a look. So 
yeah, there we have it. Uh, it was only good enough for a third class mastery, because obviously everybody's driving these at the moment, but... Okay, I didn't do a huge amount of damage, other people did massively more than me, but... I did manage to block 440 damage. Unfortunately, three of my shots bounced, but that's the short 88 for you, but still. It's a premium, it's only tier 6, but it does seem to earn a reasonable amount of credit, so yeah. We'll have to see how this development of this tank continues. Obviously, anything shown here is subject to change. This is a test server, after all. But we'll see. I think this could become a very popular tank. Um, obviously, it's costing gold is most... Oh, I assume it's going to change. We can probably look at it costing sort of closer to 3,500. Possibly a bit more than that. That seems that's just sort of standard tier six. We've got the three thousand five hundred for the Type sixty four. The Tog when it was on sale was about the same. Uh, what have we got here? SU one hundred Y three thousand two hundred. Yeah, right, probably around about three thousand. So anyway, that is a quick look at the as it stands one of the new premium tanks coming into the game. There is a chance it may not stay a premium tank. Um, if they do fill out the uh, Japanese tech tree at all, if they manage to, because Japan didn't have many tanks, if they manage to fill out a heavy line in the tech tree, I have seen in a couple of places it mentioned that this might become a normal tech tree tank rather than the premium, but we will have to wait and see, see what happens. As it stands, it looks like a pretty good tank. Let me know what you think of this review in the comments, please. If you liked it, please give the video a like. It does help the channel. And subscribe for more content coming soon. Thank you.